sports. It's in the game. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Chicago Bears. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. Tyler Scott now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And some strong running. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. 
Dexter receivers helped spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Now motion left with Mooney. Go. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Fields to Mooney for the Chicago first. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw on second down. Fields. That pass complete to Moore. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. They'll run. This is Khalil Herbert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That play over before it got anywhere, thanks to Christian Wilkins. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Here's Fields. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Moore, the man in motion. And this is caught. He hits Moore. And he is going to have the Bears first down. And he'll get it by 20. A gain of eight on fourth and one. Charles, their first drive of the game. And already they're taking chances here, but they get the fourth down conversion. I I'm curious, do you think that that's something they game plan for on the opening drive if it came up, or is that something that happened organically? I think that they game plan for it, Brandon. And when you think about it, Let's just say it. The word analytics is a big part of how everyone looks at a game nowadays, but it's not just the analytics. It's a coach willing to be daring, willing to be bold, and they certainly were there. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snap, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Here's Fields now on second down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Now it's Fields. They'll set up the screen for Herbert. He's got room to roll. will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point, ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. 
they've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Barrios now from his end zone. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Tongue of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at the 34. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Here's Tonga Vailoa on first and ten. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Looking to pass to him. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a third down coming up. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Tongue of Ilo are going to try and throw on third down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grab it, a little hand fighting, but any means necessary on third down, he's able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. He will have the conversion and more than that. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Durham Smythe, 39 yards. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught Jason that, Sanders ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Here we go. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows. Taking it right down Broadway. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards there, a big one. And that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. 
Herbert powering up the middle. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Right. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives them the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've Don't taken them pick. really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. Go. Here's a give to Herbert. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Not a run that you're gonna write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Here we go, Second down and six now. Right. Play action. It's Fields. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. St. Brown motioning left. are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. They'll run here with Foreman. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Here we go. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. A handoff for Herbert. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Here we They've go, been Scott. denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. On play action, Fields rolling to his right. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. Brand, I think he's just grateful to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. That defense closed on him quick and forced a quick surrender out of bounds. Santos' kick is up and through, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession bowl game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks will tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. 
And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. The Dolphins take over at first down again at their own 20 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a... Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. On first and 10, it's Herbert to the 27-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And yeah, they're going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well. It's down inside the 20. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And he takes this one in for the Bears touchdown. Khalil Herbert with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears will extend their lead in the final minute of the 